Hi, in this lesson, we're going to look at how we can create graphics using Python. Let's get started. In order to create graphics in Python, we need to use an interface called tkinter. Though there are other ways we can create graphics in Python, tkinter is the standard Python interface to the tk GUI toolkit and the one we're going to focus on in this course. We're going to be using tkinter to draw shapes on the canvas, such as the snowman shown here but there are many other things that can be created using this interface, such as buttons, text inputs, and other widgets. You can find more information about tkinter in the link in the Docs tab. In order to use tkinter, we need to import the library at the beginning of our program. To do this, we simply type from tkinter import star. The star tells the computer to import all of the items found inside the tkinter library. We then write master equals tk and add our commands underneath. At the end of our program, we type main loop to run all of our commands. This template will be provided for you as a starter code for any graphics programs we write, so you don't have to memorize it. Before we begin writing programs, let's take a look at the coordinate system we'll be using with Python graphics. As you can see, the 0, 0 point is located in the top left-hand corner. The x values increase as we move right, and the y values increase as we move down. For example, this point would be located at 200 in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. And this point would be located at 100 in the x direction and 150 in the y direction. From these values, we can see that our canvas is 400 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. When we begin our programs, we can actually choose the size of the canvas we're going to be drawing on. We do this by using the commands here, where we note the width and height values. When we run this program, we'll see a canvas which will default to a gray color on our screen with the noted dimensions. If we instead used a height and width of 200, we would see a smaller canvas area. We can also change the background color of this canvas, because we obviously want to use colors other than gray. We can use one of these two attributes to change color, either the word background or simply the letters BG. We place color names inside quotation marks. Now let's see how we can draw on our canvas. We can draw a line from one point to another by giving the coordinates of the starting and ending points using screen.createLine. The beginning point of our line is located at 5050 and the ending point is at 200, 100. Now, we can actually note as many points as we want inside our create line function, and the points will just be drawn one after another. Here, we've added the point 50, 100, and if we wanted to close the shape, we would simply add the first point to the end of our list. Here, we've added 50, 50 to close our triangle. When we run this code, we'll see that we have a canvas with a width of 300 and a height of 200 that has a gray background. We've also drawn one line that has an xy coordinate of 0, 0 as this position and a second point as 300, 200. If we want to draw an x on our canvas, we can draw a second line by using screen.createLine and having our first point be down in the bottom left hand corner, which would have an x value of 0 and a y value of the entire height of the canvas, which is 200. And we want our line to end in the top right hand corner which would have an x value of the entire width of the canvas which is 300 and a y value of 0. Let's see how this looks. Perfect! Now it's your turn!